this is remote controlled DC motor the circuit controls the speed and direction of this DC motor from this remote control this is an infrared remote control the circuit is based on peak 18F4550 which is this chip the internal oscillator of the, this microcontroller here is used and the M clear pin function is disabled here we have we have this integrated circuit here which is L293D which is a motor driver integrated circuit this circuit this integrated circuit allows us to control this motor in both directions we have here this is the infrared receiver this infrared receiver has three pins plus five volt ground and output data pin here we have four LEDs these two LEDs indicates the direction of rotation this one indicates the maximum speed and this one indicates the infrared signal this is the remote control this remote control uses Philips RC5 protocol this is the infrared transmitter LED here these five push buttons are used this one this one this one this one and this one these two push these two buttons are used to choose or change the direction this one to increase the speed and this one to decrease the speed and this one stops the motor and the other buttons are not used and had and they have no function for our circuit for example this one has no function it has no effect as I said this LED indicates that that remote control infrared remote control signal or infrared signal which uses RC5 protocol is received now let's press this button here okay this this LED is on which which is the direction LED this one let's press now this one this this one is off and this one is on which means the motor is going to run in the other direction this one stops the motor so the, the all the LEDs are off this one this LED indicates the maximum speed let's now increase choose the direction and increase the speed okay the motor is starts rotating I'm still increasing the speed of the motor okay we are now at the maximum speed this is the maximum speed of the motor now let's change rotation direction okay the motor as we can see changes its direction let's now decrease the speed
here the microcontroller the two CCP modules are configured as PWM and they are connected to the inputs of the L293D motor driver we have here the outputs of the PWM signals are connected to RC2 and RC1 respectively for PWM1 and PWM2 are connected as I said to, to the two inputs of the, uh, of the half H bridge of the L293D motor driver this one stops the motor no matter what's the direction of the motor